Ancient Egypt Biography, Akhenaten Occupation, Pharaoh of Egypt Born around 1380 B.C. Died 1336 B.C. Reign 1353 B.C. to 1336 B.C. Best known for Changing the religion of ancient Egypt and building the city of Amarna. Biography Akhenaten was an Egyptian pharaoh who ruled during the 18th dynasty of the New Kingdom period of ancient Egypt. He is famous for changing the traditional religion of Egypt from the worship of many gods to the worship of a single god named Aten. Akhenaten was born in Egypt around 1380 BC. He was the second son to the pharaoh Amenhotep III. When his older brother died, Akhenaten became the crown prince of Egypt. He grew up in the royal palace learning how to be the leader of Egypt. Becoming Pharaoh Some historians think that Akhenaten served as co-pharaoh alongside his father for several years. Others do not. Either way, Akhenaten took over as pharaoh around the year 1353 BC when his father died. Under his father's rule, Egypt had become one of the most powerful and wealthy nations in the world. The civilization of Egypt was at its peak around the time Akhenaten took control. Changing his name When Akhenaten became pharaoh, he still had his birth name of Amenhotep. His formal title was Pharaoh Amenhotep IV. However, around the fifth year of his reign as pharaoh, he changed his name to Akhenaten. This new name represented his belief in a new religion that worshipped the sun god, Aten. It meant living spirit of Aten. Changing the religion. Once he became pharaoh, Akhenaten decided to reform the Egyptian religion. For thousands of years, the Egyptians had worshipped a variety of gods such as Amun, Isis, Osiris, Horus, and Toth. Akhenaten, however, believed in a single god named Aten. Akhenaten built a number of temples to his new god. He also had many of the old temples closed and removed some of the old gods from inscriptions. Many of the Egyptian people and priests were not happy with him for this. Amarna. Around 1346 BC, Akhenaten decided to build a city to honor the god Aten. The city was called Akhenaten by the ancient Egyptians. Today, archaeologists call it Amarna. Amarna became the capital city of Egypt during Akhenaten's reign. It housed the royal palace and the great temple of the Aten. Queen Nefertiti Akhenaten Main's wife was Queen Nefertiti. Nefertiti was a very powerful queen. She ruled alongside Akhenaten as the second most powerful person in Egypt. Today, Nefertiti is famous for a sculpture of her that shows how beautiful she was. She is often referred to in history as the most beautiful woman in the world. Changing Art Along with the change in religion, Akhenaten brought a dramatic change to Egyptian art. Prior to Akhenaten, people were presented with ideal faces and perfect bodies. During Akhenaten's reign, artists depicted people more how they really looked. This was a dramatic change. Some of the most beautiful and unique artwork from ancient Egypt comes from this time period. Death and Legacy Akhenaten died around 1336 B.C. Archaeologists are unsure who took over as pharaoh, but it appears that there were two pharaohs who ruled for a short time before Akhenaten's son, Tutankhamun, became pharaoh. It wasn't long after Akhenaten's reign that Egypt returned to its traditional religion. The capital city moved back to Thebes, and eventually the city of Amarna was abandoned. Later, Pharaohs had Akhenaten's name removed from the list of pharaohs because he went against the traditional gods. He was sometimes referred to as the enemy in Egyptian records. Interesting facts about Akhenaten. His religious leanings were likely influenced by his mother, Queen Tai. 
The city of Amarna was abandoned not long after Akhenaten's death. It is likely that Akhenaten suffered from a disorder called Marfan Syndrome. He was probably buried at the royal tomb in Armana, but his body was not found there. It may have been destroyed or possibly moved to the Valley of the Kings.